So Avengers five, um, we have talked about Avengers five before and how um, this is going to be, in my opinion, one of those movies that might, might put Marvel back on track. Now I do believe that Deadpool and Wolverine is going to be solid. Um, I have question marks on cap Four. We'll wait to see. I'll, I'll have to wait and see the trailer. So I'll reserve that. I don't know and don't have a lot of confidence in Thunderbolts, but it's sounding like Cap uh, Avengers uh, 5 could have some big potential. It was supposed to be uh, the dynasty of Kang, Kang dynasty, but, you know, the whole Jonathan Majors thing, eh, who knows? Maybe they recast, maybe they don't. I don't know. But the question kind of loomed about who are you going to bring in? to direct Avengers 5. Now, we've talked about the rumors about how um, Sam Raimi was going to come in. No, thank you. Not after Doctor Strange 2. Um, we talked about how there was another rumor about how uh, maybe it could be Sean Levy. So basically, after what he's doing with uh, Deadpool and Wolverine, the rumors were that he was a front runner and Marvel really liked him. And, you know, maybe, hey, why not just do that? Maybe. Originally, it was the Shang-Chi director, but he got busy doing five other things, so he dropped out. Um, now, before we go on to directors, now, let's keep in mind, Michael Waldron is still attached to this. He's the guy that gave you Loki, but he also gave you Doctor Strange 2. Uh, so, can he do Avengers 5? I don't know. But um, the director is going to matter, too. Now, I have said from the jump, if you tell me the Russo brothers come back and they're doing Avengers 5, hell, if they're doing Avengers 6, you have a $2.5 billion movie automatically. Automatically. But... Their name has been tossed around, kind of, sort of. And we actually have a rumor about the Russos and Avengers. And apparently, the Russos have been in talks. They have been in talks with Marvel about Avengers 5. Now, let me be very clear. I still think from a marketing perspective, this would get people hyped up. If the Russos and their name is out there, because look at their track record. Winter Soldier, Captain America, Civil War, Infinity War, Endgame. They've only been involved with some of the movies that are easily in the top 10, maybe top eight of best marvel films so if you don't think that putting their name up there is gonna matter i don't know what to tell you and i'd have to question your business sense because the russo name has not been associated in a negative way when it comes to marvel it's just a good selling point but the russos have been tied at least in this rumor to avengers 5 and it's not that great. According to Snyder, Jeff Snyder, one of those insiders, he's saying that Joe and Anthony Russo offered their services to direct Avengers 5, but Marvel turned them down. It says here that their newest movie called Electric State, which is coming through by Netflix, cost around $320 million after reshoots. Snyder is saying that it might actually be 370 million. Regardless, Electric State and its budget may have turned off Marvel execs into reteaming with the direct duo. Yikes. Yikes. So, if this rumor is true, Marvel had them. Matter of fact, the fact that he said that the Russos came to them 
the Russos came to Marvel because if y'all remember the one movie back when Endgame was done and all of that stuff, remember the one movie the Russos that people were thinking we was like, yo, after you done gave us Infinity War and Endgame, will you come back? And the one movie they said they come back for was Secret Wars. Now, Secret Wars supposedly is going to be Avenger 6. But you have the opportunity to get them for five, whatever five is going to be, Kang Dynasty, whatever, and possibly for six too, because they're going to be shot very close together, according to the reports. But Marvel turned them down. Two things that come to mind. I think it is understandable that Marvel might be scared of the budgets. Because let's be honest, budgets, what they're really talking about is profit. Yes, Avengers 5 is going to make $2 billion straight up. Yes, if um, the Russos come back and all this hype is generated, it's possible it might make 2.5. It is possible, right? But if the production cost goes up, then the amount of profit that they're trying to get is not going to be recouped. Perfect example, look at the Fast and Furious movies. Yes, those movies was making a billion dollars of 700 million, 800, that was fine. But they kept driving up the production costs. And every time they paid more actors and paid more money and all that stuff, the profit started to shrink. So I understand the idea that you want to keep production low. And if the other rumors are true about Avengers 5, they was talking about uh, almost 60 characters coming back. Let's just speculate. If you're doing a time travel multiverse movie, it's very possible that you're going to have to pay a lot of actors a million here, two million here. Listen, if Downey come back, that's a cool 10, 20 million right off the jump because it's an Avengers movie and he going to eat your money off on the back end too because of his contract stipulation. That money can add up and that's just for the actors. So if Avengers 5 is going to be a big carousel of a whole bunch of returning actors, that budget can go up even higher and you bringing the Russos back and I'm pretty sure bringing them back for another Avengers movie, they probably going to get paid even more. Marvel might be like, "Nah, we can't we can't keep breaking that bank." And let's be honest. It's not impossible that they can go get somebody else. Go get a different director. You know, it it could happen, right? Maybe. But the other thing I, that comes to mind, if Avengers 5 comes out, and if it is anything below amazing, you don't think we're going to be side-eyeing Marvel real hard? You don't think we're going to be looking at Marvel like, man, what the? And you had the Russos? And you turned it down for this? If Avengers 5 does not come out as a 9 out of 10 and above, I think people just going to, that faith that's going to, that Marvel's trying to reestablish, you're going to lose some major footing. You're going to lose a lot of ground if Avengers 5 does not come out out the gate, 2.5 million. And everybody just loves it. Because if we knew now that the Russos gave you a pitch, we all in the back of our minds, we're gonna be thinking like the Russos probably could have done it better. So, anyway, um, what do you guys think about this rumor? What do you think about the fact that um the Russos had a chance? They pitched, they made their pitch to um to Marvel, and uh they was like, nah. Not 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 gonna happen. Uh, whatever you think, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below.
Thank you so much for watching. This was just a segment of one of my live chats, and if you're interested in joining in on the next one, be sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications for more. I've got more videos and reviews to do for you all, and until next time, I'll see you all later.